Good morning. On behalf of our special guests, including Director Sams, Ambassador Haspels, Ambassador Makrova, and the entire staff at the park, welcome to the Freedom Concert and Rededication of the Netherlands Caroline. My name is Charles Kuvalier. I'm the superintendent here on the George Washington Memorial Parkway and will serve as your master of ceremonies today. I do want to do a couple special recognitions. We've had phenomenal support throughout this project from members of our Congress, and we have staff from Congressman Mo Brooks' office, Jerry Carl's office, and Barry Moore's office, and I want to acknowledge and say thank you for joining us today. In addition, uh, we have three special guests in the front row, which really speak to the era and the significance of what we're here for, for rededication. In uniform in the front row are one of our World War II vets, Mr. David Marshall, and sitting next to him is Carl Tringali. Thank you both for joining us this morning. And a very special Rosie the Riveter, May Cryer is with us. Good morning, May, and welcome. From this scenic spot on the westernmost axis of the National Mall and overlooking the District of Columbia, Arlington Ridge is a place set aside for ceremonial and commemorative purposes. I would ask at this time that you stand if you're able and join us for the singing of the United States National Anthem and the Netherlands Anthem presented by Michael McKeon and the Washington Symphonic Brass. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave for the land of the free and the home of the Good morning, my friends and relatives. I'm so pleased to be here with you today. The Carolyn symbolizes a friendship between the people of two countries, a friendship rooted in a common allegiance to the principles of freedom, justice, and democracy. The Netherlands Carolyn, like the Statue of Liberty, is a gift and a tangible representation of an intangible ideal, freedom. Good morning, everybody. And uh, thank you all for joining us today here. It's not lost on me that while we are celebrating our liberation and the reopening of the Netherlands Carillon, the sounds of gunfire and the atrocities of war returned to the shores of Europe when Russia invaded Ukraine two and a half months ago. The Netherlands does not only condemn the war and the war crimes committed by Russia, we also support Ukraine by su supplying weapons, by supporting EU sanctions against Russia, and by taking in refugees. And I sincerely hope that this war comes to a swift end and that justice will prevail. We are here today, Liberation Day in the Netherlands, to celebrate our freedom, as well as the completion of the renovation and the expansion of the Netherlands Carillon. The people of the Netherlands gave the Carillon to the people of the United States to thank them for their role restoring our freedom during and after the Second World War. But time took its toll and the monument needed renovation. And mind you, this was not a small undertaking. The National Park Service oversaw the renovation and the historic preservation of the tower. And meanwhile, the embassy staff oversaw the restoration and tuning of the bells by a foundry in the Netherlands with the financial support of many private donations. Now I can think of so many people to thank for making this project a reality. I guess the list would start with the veterans of World War II. We We would not have our freedom today were it not for your efforts on the battlefield, an ocean away. You have the eternal gratitude of my nation. Ambassador Haspels and Director Sands, would you join me here at the podium to ring in and rededicate the bells? Above all, bells are the sound of freedom and peace, as in World War II. They hung silently until the day they could ring in the peace. 
Today, the bells ring again with a new sound as a reflection of enduring friendship and our preservation work together. Please join me in rededicating the Netherlands Carillon with the ringing of the bells. Next, we're going to hear a recital from Ed Nasser in the Washington Symphonic Brass, so I'm going to turn it over to the Caroliners. Thank you very much, dear ambassador, dear superintendent, dear ladies and gentlemen, dear friends. What an honor to be here on this wonderful day with you celebrating the Liberation Day. A day when our friends, brothers and sisters in the Netherlands became free again after five years of brutal occupation by Nazis. Five years of being a theater of a World War II, the war that we all sought was the last war that we had to fight in Europe. Uh, but unfortunately today, when we celebrate the Liberation Day here uh, with all of you, we are again putting aside our peaceful tools and again we're fighting for our freedom. It's really tragic that today with this wonderful music, wonderful bells, friends here that share the same values, we have to again talk about how freedom is being under threat and democracy and being under threat. Freedom, like democracy, is not given. Even when you have it, you have to fight for it every day. That's why here, not only we have the bells for the liberation from the Nazi regime in World War II, but we also have bells dedicated to Martin Luther King Jr. and other wonderful people, because freedom is something that you ha we have to work and fight on a daily basis. Freedom, equality, justice. Something again that we feel so strongly about. Something that is worth dying for. And my only wish for today was again thanking you for inviting me, Ambassador, for this very, very important and very, uh, very important ceremony is to wish that all of us will work for freedom, will work for justice, and that we will live for it, not die for it. So with that, God bless America, God bless our troops that are saving us today, and many thanks and best wishes to our friends, brothers and sisters in the Netherlands. Thank you. I'd ask you to please turn your attention to the monitor for a special message from Andre Rue, followed by a special presentation from Frank Steins and Andre Rue and the Johann Strauss Orchestra. My dear American friends, I join you from the American Cemetery in Markrath and on the outskirts of Maastricht in the Netherlands. It's a truly overwhelming and humbling sight. To these brave men and women, we owe a huge debt of gratitude, one that we will never be able to repay. 8,301 soldiers, 8,301 names. And when you look at the names, you really feel the emotion. They're human beings who gave their lives that we can live. I want to take this opportunity to express our endless gratitude to you, the American people. On behalf of the people of the Netherlands, thank you.
Mr. Ambassador, it is my pleasure and my honor to recognize you as an honorary park ranger. <laughs> ambassador Hasbals, as the ambassador of the Kingdom of the Netherlands to the United States, you have served as an outstanding partner of the National Park Service. You coordinated the restoration of the Carillon's 50 bells and shipment to the Netherlands for tuning by Dutch bell foundry Royal Eschtebouts. You oversaw the casting of three new bells on the eve of Dutch American Friendship Day. You have shared the important story of freedom and our friendship throughout this project with special programs. You've honored our nation by dedicating the new bells to three influential Americans whose legacy impacted the world during and after World War II. Secretary George C. Marshall for his leadership after the Allied victory, Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. as a leader of the American Civil Rights and humanitarian Eleanor Roosevelt advocating for social justice and human rights. Under your leadership, the Netherlands Carillon has been elevated to a grand Carillon for contributing to the preservation, protection, and enjoyment of our natural and cultural resources for future generations. The National Park Service is proud to confer upon you the title of Honorary Park Ranger. Well, thank you very much. This is, uh, I had not expected this. This is a unique title that I will cherish for the rest of my life. Thank you very much. With this, we conclude our formal remarks. We invite you to remain and view the exhibits that are on dis display, as well as enjoy the Carillon recital, which will take place oh, for the next 55 or 60 minutes. So please enjoy the music, and thank you again for joining us today on a special rededication and the Freedom Concert. Have a great day.